Good morning. Oh, but if I had a radio show. <laughs> oh, Lord. It'd be so... Well, there's a reason why I don't. <laughs> no way. I'm... I'm jumping right in. I'm going to jump right in on the topic. And that being stupidity. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, so they're going to go on on Fox. It's been kind of a thorn in my side for way too, way too, way too long. So, um, and now they're going to put a poster child of Tucker Carlson on there, and that's fine, whatever. A lot of them need to go because they gave up their. It'd be like a, they they get up the, they gave up their integrity. It'd be like a surgeon, um, purposely putting in wrong, wrong organs to see if see if they would work, and then everything go awry, and then admitting, yeah, no, I you know, I knew it was wrong. Um, and I've said it occasionally. And there's been a lot of people that have turned around and, and ca- said, no, they are that stupid. And I said, nah, nah, Hannity, Tar- Carlson, all of them have, it's, they've got a common sense. And they had to have known. They had to have known. They can't be that educated and that in deep in journalism and not know how stupid and slippery road that they were involved in. And so, um, that being said, um, what drives them? I I couldn't even tell you, except for money, maybe. I don't don't know. But, all along, it was a a train wreck wanting to happen, simply because of a because of how um, Ayers and Murdoch and all of them orchestrated a news agency to be ran. Okay? You can go on a conspiracy theory all you want on a lot of different things, but there's not a conspiracy theory here. I mean, this is blatant stupidity. What they did trying to deceive and I'll say it their viewers their America the American public they knew why do you know because the system is already geared to safety nets and I'm going to talk about the balloting system it's already has the safety nets in play there's no way in God's green earth that there could have been thousands of let alone hundreds of dead people voting without somebody sparking up and going, hello, there's no way in hell that couldn't have happened. I'm I'm sorry, we've been at this far too fucking long for that that kind of uh, safety net to be gone. And so... And that's what I've been saying all along. Is that when you had a sitting president who was smart enough to be business. um, Whether he's losing his marbles or not, I'm not going to go too far down that road. I want to, but I'm not going to. Um, But the, the point is, is that... He's the only one that blatantly said something so stupid that it makes you question sanity itself. And that was when he had said, can't we just stop the counting right now? When you, when you have somebody, and I don't care if they've been in politics or if they've been a, you know, any kind of thing where you're elected in, 
to turn around and go, ooh, 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 I'm ahead right now, but I'm losing, gaining ground. They're gaining ground. Oh, no. Hey, can we just stop the count? I'm sorry. That's like somewhere right at the beginning of the fourth quarter saying uh, that this football team is ahead, although I can see that they're losing gas. Maybe they're losing their quarterback or something. And, and can we just can we just stop it right here? Okay. <clears throat> Sanity. Truth. Truth. But for a news, I'm gonna go bring it back full circle. But for a news agency to blatantly deceive, they're not a news agency. They're not even, I mean, that's, that is, and I've used the term National Enquirer this whole time. I'm sorry. They're blatantly telling you that John F. Kennedy was an alien. They're blatantly telling you that, you know, if you eat eggs, you might end up being a chicken. <clears throat> They're blatantly telling you something so skewed over and over again that you might believe it or the viewers that would believe it and and to that we do have free press I will say that we have free press we can allow these idiots to, to broadcast okay just like if someone was to come out with nothing but swear words and and broadcast all the time we have the we have the ability. We have that we have that First Amendment right. That's fine. Free speech. But that being said, you've got an issue. And the issue is when a corporation such as Fox goes ahead and does their stuff. Um, what do you do about it? Well, the model has been to fire them. And normally it comes from either an outcry of public or it comes from on high. That is because they normally go by a higher standard. They have an authority above them. Fox does not have an authority above them. That should tell anybody right there that is God-given, feared, Christian whatever that should be a red flag to them okay they do not have a authority above them if they can turn around and blatantly bullshit the way that they did the sad part is is that you have a whole bunch of of a country believing it or are now confused, poor guys. But it's no different. We have a model to look at. That model being um, Russia. We're seeing what it, what Russia went right in and ripped the crap out of a country and you have a bunch of fellow countrymen believe that that country was going to do damage to their big country. And we, and we as Americans are standing by going, uh, no. Well, you know where that began? Out of Putin. But where it began? State-run TV. They're the ones that can push a lie. Where did all this whole Trump shit happen? State-run TV. Okay, see the similarity? That's not a conspiracy theory. That's reality. That's right there in your face. And yet, and yet, for some people, it just escapes them. And I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't understand how it can escape. Especially the balloting. When someone says this and that or thousands and when you had 
Uh, first of all, when you had Giuliani and those guys turn around saying that thousands of ballots have been cast, I'm sorry. They used their knowledge, because I know they're smarter than that, just like the Fox team. They used their knowledge to deceive. They used their knowledge against, I'll say it, the generally ignorant meaning, meaning unaware public. Okay? It's, it is plain and simple, and there's no, there's no harm in any of that. If someone kept telling you that, that something, 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 and you believed them, and you, you know, and then find out that it's not true, okay, suck it up. Don't feel ashamed, because that's also part of that process. Suck it up and own up to it. But in the same token, the people that were telling you need to suck it up and own up to it, too. Okay? I'm going to bring it back full circle once again and say, I don't know what's going to happen with Fox, but I'm glad that it's happening. Not that it's not going to happen again, but it's a really shitty time. It's a really scary time around the world. And if there's any kind of biblical principle going down, the writing's on the wall. And it's not that hard to see. Let him who have eyes see, let him who have ears hear. The truth isn't out there, it's right there in your face. You just need to realize it and look at it. And stop listening to somebody else telling you that what's on the page isn't there. Okay? Hey, nothing but love. Really crappy day out, but hey, it's Washington in the winter. Um, nothing but love. God bless.